Welcome back to another Rat Face 44 reviews. My name is James, and today we have G.I. Joe Classified Series, Coba Ferret Scout, and Coba Ferret ATV. So let's get this started! Before we get this started, shout out to my buddy Luke, who hooked me up with this. So let's go ahead and take a look at this really excellent artwork on this box here. Great depiction of the Cobra Ferret and the driver. Uh, looks like they're driving around these um, pyramids here. They look like maybe Aztec pyramids. Very cool. They're all in action. Uh, you got the Cobra symbol, G.I. Joe logo, Hasbro logo. And you see the nice uh, plastic bubble here. You can see the figure here. Nice um, clear presentation. Um, we'll take a look at that very soon. And on the top here, you see 119 in the line Cobra symbol. Awesome artwork of the action figure. Boring stuff on the bottom. And on the back of the packaging here, you see a nice digital render of the figure and the Cobra Ferret and the accessories. You got some zoom in shots and some aspects of the vehicle. Very cool. You got some attributes here that you probably maybe, I don't know, you could look up online. Boring stuff on the bottom again. So let's get this open and take a look at the figure and most likely we're gonna have to put together the vehicle. So I got my trusty scalpel here. Let's go ahead and open it up. So this is my first impressions and unboxing and it looks like it's taped again on the top here there we go got a nice tray got some cardboard jumping out here is the weapons kind of box locker type of thing here's a quick shot of the atv ferret and the driver and you can see they're all kind of twist tied in from behind plastic ties with the wonder of editing let's quicken this up so dropping down the camera brightening it all up here i have removed all the contents out of the box so first off we have four wheels uh, they're all exactly the same uh, they have a print here cobra atv very cool we got blue rims and nice sculpted details with all exactly the same and here is the body of the ferret let's go ahead and put it together it is clip on there you go I just, I'm being very careful with this very cool clips right on very easy to put in so next we have the uh, ammo box with all the accessories and we have a nice little paper mache. <laughs> and we have a nice little pocket just like the old school. So let's open it up and dump out all the accessories. And we have a little cardboard box here with some accessories in it. It looks like it might be, uh, uh, there it is, yeah, a big uh, red gun. That's pretty cool. We have little tiny piece there that fell out all right so looks like we have some handlebars here with a nice little print speed little dial on it that looks pretty basic next said we have this little i guess it looks like a bumper and looks like a molded type of winch have like a roll bar here we have two identical exhausts, I am assuming, and this little C-clip. Also, we have two red missiles. And has some peg holes here. Nothing going on with uh, any details on those missiles. And we have, this looks like maybe a new mold. It looks like something that Roadblock has. I'm not 100% sure. So let's go ahead and finish up putting together the ATV ferret. So I'm going to go ahead and 
start off with the handlebars. I'm assuming they just go right here and they peg in. So it's kind of friction. It's not, didn't make any satisfying sound. I see there was like a little gun turret here that's kind of moves up and down. Very cool. I found the instructions. Thank you, Hasbro. And uh, some nice diagram on how to put this together. That is awesome. Check that out. Amazing. And it looks like there is uh, a correct way to put on these wheels. And I'm wondering if I actually put them in the right way. Probably not. As you can see, the arrows are not uh, going the right way. They should go back. So this one I'm going to have to take off. So it is easy to take off these wheels and reposition them. So when I was looking at it, here is the hole, the peg kind of the C clip pegs into this hole here and just like that. And this will clip on, I guess you could put it either right or left. It doesn't really matter. So it looks like it clips on to the right side roll bar the right side bar and the back bar right here so that should just clip right on just like that that looks cool and try to push it I guess farther as far as possible because the, the gun's right beside the driver <laughs> that is pretty gnarly and you could pivot up and pivot around just like that that looks really cool next we have these uh exhaust things that i called before but it looks like the missiles just kind of peg into these. And down at the bottom here, there are two holes and it just pegs into those two holes, just like that. Just like the old school. And I can notice that the, the missiles are bendy just a little bit. Next we have this little roll bar thing and the bumper and the roll bar bumper thing just like that that looks cool and that fits on the front there you have it looks good to me there's like a little hook here molded in and that looks awesome so let's go ahead and take a look at some deco here and the design of this thing Let's zoom in on this print. It is microscopic to me. And there it is, that's really, let's see if I can go closer. So I can go really close here. If you wanna pause it, just pause the screen and take a look at that. That looks awesome. Missile launching information, nice. And here we have another print, XO2. Looks really cool, ATV, check out that logo on the, the front here. Let's flip that around. Got the Cobra logo. That is awesome. Wicked. That is amazing. I like all the little details, the little prints on this thing. This looks really awesome. Check out that Cobra. Nice. And you've got the engine detail here in silver. That looks awesome, nice mold. On the side here, you got no step. <laughs> this is kind of bendy. Zoom back out here. Very cool, nice dark blue and a little bit of a darker red. I know the toy had a more of a, 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 a brighter red. And unfortunately, I do not have the vintage. That's something I don't have in my collection. So let's go ahead and take a look at the figure. So I know this figure is same body as the Valkyries and but just done in gray and uh, a nice kind of check out that uh, vest there. That looks really awesome Let's do a little zoom in shot. Take a look at the sculpt and paint design of this. Very cool. It is a little bit wiggly and I saw a picture. I was really uh, concerned that this has the same type of problem uh, Zorana has uh, with the uh, arm coming out so you know I did a little tug on the arm here it doesn't look like it will fall out but you never know during this video <laughs> so a uh, really cool nice Cobra symbol on the vest here this looks really awesome the blue and gray looks amazing got a floating belt here with a bunch of pouches 
and a holster on it. That looks awesome. We've got some cool kind of uh, blue forearm guards, black gloves. You got the butterfly joints. Neck and head moves a lot. Goes about not too, can't really look up, unfortunately. Yeah, that kind of, uh, that's not that great. Unfortunately, that the figure can't look up very, very good. Maybe if he, you know, arch the back <laughs> and then you could maybe look up a little bit more. But so as we move down here, we have a thigh holster for her sidearm. We got two sidearms that came with the figure. So here is one of them. Take a look at that. And there is a port for blast effects. We got two of those. So we got two holsters. So we might as well uh, gear her up with these uh, weapons. I'm pretty sure that's the way it goes. <laughs> I uh, made mistakes in the past. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it goes just like this. And here's the other holster. Let's put the sidearm there. And also, she comes with a little itty bitty black knife. Look at that. And where does that knife go? In the boot sheath. So we can go ahead and slide that right in. Just like that. Looks good. And the final accessory for this figure is her helmet. And it looks like a regular kind of ATV helmet. And I'm, I'm assuming it'll slide right on. It looks like there is some sort of like, you know, uh, snake teeth here, like a, like it looks a little snaky. <laughs> looks pretty cool. And it slides right in and it's made out of a gummier type plastic so it should be really easy to put it on the figure interjecting here noticing after i took a nice close-up shot of her face i've noticed she has yellow eyes and the the helmet looks really awesome on her and let's put her on the atv ferret that looks awesome and one thing I just noticed, I don't know, I don't see any foot pegs. So, and another thing I've heard, putting this figure on this, it doesn't fit very well. That's what I've heard down in the grapevine. And let me know if I'm putting her on correctly. I'll mess around with this and see if I can get her on here properly. Just give me a moment. Let's go ahead and see how she fits on here. Uh, turned around these handlebars. Uh, it's probably a good idea. <laughs> that looks still looks pretty good, um, except her butt is not on the chair, so that's probably what they were talking about. So that looks, still looks pretty good. Uh, if you look at it at this angle, but at this angle, it's just like, that's not bad. You know, if you're going over a bump, Speaking of going over bumps, this thing has some shocks to it, which is really cool. And a gun. And check out the molding on the bottom. Not too bad. There is some molded detail, not too much. Very cool. And I could tell by these bars, they, they do pop off. You got some exhaust here with some print. Caution. That's pretty cool. You got some lights kind of uh, printed on there. Cool kind of shock details. So overall, this is really cool, man. My overall thoughts of the uh, Cobra Ferret and Driver. Very cool set. Uh, the only downfall is she's, it's kind of difficult to get her to sit on the chair, but that's fine. Uh, very cool detail and color on this thing. She fits very well on this, like color-wise, <laughs> on this, uh, on the Cobra Ferret. But what I was thinking of maybe um, putting um, another figure on this um, later on, I'll, uh, I will try that out. There's notice there's another print here. There's all these little details on this thing. That's another thing that's really cool. 
and it uh, looks like there is kind of a silver detail here as, uh, as the light on the handlebars looks really cool. And then more silver detail here for more lights. <laughs> Man, there's endless details on this thing that I keep on noticing the more I look at this. And it's really cool. So I want to thank everybody for watching. I appreciate everybody who has subscribed to my channel. If you are new here, please like, comment, and subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. And Yojo and Cobra!